Hey, this is Wes Turner of Copper's Rock Hill. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about how to create a process task type video uh, on the iPad Pro only. Uh, so everything start to finish can be done on the iPad. You don't have to have multiple bits of equipment or anything like that. You can all do it off the iPad and it's uh, fairly simple. But I'm going to go through a quick video showing you how I uh, get that done. First thing is talk about video prep. Um, and yeah, I've created a little storyboard here of how to create this video. And this is kind of the process that I would go through to uh, go through is one is what am I going to what am I going to do? Do I need to put an outline of shots I need to take? How do I want the video to go? Um, may may um, even draw pictures of things that I need or just jot down the shots that I need to take. In this case, you know, when I did the other one, I, I it went by a process, basically the SOP. I knew the steps of the process, so I just knew to get shots of each of the process. So in this case, um, we're going to, we're just, that's kind of how I prep and next we'll go and learn how I take some shots out in the field. All right, I'm going to give a few tips on uh, how to take, uh, how to get your shots, get some of the video. Of course, you're going to just need to use this uh, camera button here and you're going to select video uh, from the menu over here. Once you do that, you just have a red button. And the red button is just going to allow you to start recording. When you hit record, one of the first things you want to do is learn to make very slow, small movements. You don't want to, you want to try to stay as smooth and slow as you can. Another tip is to always get more video than what you think you need. If you think you only just need a piece, go ahead and get a little bit longer because you can always cut it down. It saves you from time to having to go back out and get more. Another tip is experiment with different angles, lower or higher, can make things a lot more interesting. And finally, work off your list of your shots you did in planning. It'll make things go a whole lot easier and a whole lot smoother. Uh, than without a list. Without a list, you, you tend to come back and forth and realize you needed this or you needed that. So work off your list. Okay, now we're back and got the shots that we needed. First thing we're going to do, load up the iPad and we're going to go into iMovie. When you first get into iMovie, you're going to see two two items well you may only see one if you have previous projects that you've messed with or played around with they'll show up here as well in this case there's one called my movie that I've, I've done and then but what you want to do is hit the plus for a new project you're gonna have two choices here movie or trailer we're gonna select movie for the purpose of this next gonna come up a list of all the files that you have uh, I'm going to click on the video on here on the left shows you all the video files that you may have taken. Um, I'm going to select some by clicking and hitting the check box beside it. When it comes up it brings up a little menu. Uh, let's pick a few of these. Let's grab one. Let's, say, let's grab this one as well. Alright, once I got what I want, then I'm going to hit create movie. And basically what it did was it just created a movie for you. Um, as you see, it's pretty much the movie. And that's, for the most part, that might be all you have to do. But I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks. If I hit play right now to, 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 to go through this, is right here at the beginning. First thing you're going to hear, hear all that noise? That's the plant noise, things running in the plant. So the first thing I'm going to do is take out noise from all these. There's a few different ways to do it, but I'm going to show you one way that's easy to do it on each clip. When you click on it, it brings up a little menu down here, Action, Speed, Volume, Titles, and Filters. That volume's for that clip. So if I want to go to each one, uh, I can click on it, take the volume down, take the volume down, take the volume down. And now if I go back and hit play, you'll see there's no volume. Okay, to edit a certain clip, you're going to click on the clip and then there should be a yellow bar on both sides. If you grab that yellow bar, you'll see you can shorten this clip and it will actually shorten it right there. Uh, if I go back to the beginning and say, oh, I didn't want it to start there, I wanted to start more here, do the same here, click, and I'm going to drag this to the point to which we want it to stop. So now when we hit play, you'll see the clip is a lot shorter and it's exactly what we wanted. Okay, 
go into the next video let's say I want to um, that looks fine I don't want to do anything to it you can see that there's automatically transitions put between each one you can change when you click on the transition you can actually change the side the type of transition whether it's a slide right now I think it's set as a fade you'll notice it fades in and fades out if I want to change that I can click this transition and let's say I'll do a slide so now you'll see that you should see a, a slide type of transition so that's how you edit the transitions you just click on them and then a menu comes up and you can change the time the time how long they are and what type of uh, transition it is um, if I want to move a clip let's say I want to move this step before the other one all I have to do here is click and hold and then move that clip and now you'll see it's at the beginning of that clip so to move clips and move them rearrange them get them in the right place or get them in a place that you want them you just click pull them up and move them like that just hold it hold it down okay I'm going to show you also let's say you get to a certain clip and let's say you didn't want anything after this there's two ways to do it I could do this and move the yellow bar or I can click this and I can just hit actions and I can hit split right here the split and what that did was create, now you see it's created two clips, but the second clip, there's no transition, but it goes straight into it. You can't even tell that anything changed. But I can take that clip and I can, um, and you can just get rid of that clip from, to get rid of a clip, you're just going to take it, oh, you got to hold it down, I forgot. And then you just take it and drag it, drag it from your entire movie and it's gone. You'll notice the clip's gone now. Um, it will say a clip like this I don't like the jittery camera work at the beginning I want to shorten that I could do the same thing below two ways I can take this and drag this right there or I can just take it and get it get it to where I want it to say about right there and then just click on it and hit actions split and take that one and I always forget you got to hold it all the way down and take it out of your movie now let's say I want to add a title. There's a couple different ways to do that. One, I can add a title right over top. Let's say it's some text uh, that you want right over the top of this video. And the way I would do that is simple. I click on the file where it, it highlights it, and you'll see the menu down here is going to be titles. So down here I might put uh, different styles or what they would look at, and I click this one. And now all I do is click up here to the title. Maybe this is... Uh, step one of the process all right and maybe I don't like it up top it gives you a, a, a it gives you option of taking that oh, didn't mean to do that it gives you the option of taking that and put it in the lower section down here so it only gives you a couple that's where iMovie gets a little a um, little tough to work with it doesn't give you tons of options on text um, and where, where to move mother and a few options but at least you can move it out of the way now if you want a title on its own screen um, it's a couple ways to the this is the way that I, I did it because uh, you almost have to have a a graphic or something behind it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a file I'm gonna click on photos and I'm gonna hit all and I have a photo here it doesn't look like anything but it is a black photo it's just a photo of a black screen and so when I add a title onto it um, you'll see that it'll show up like this like that and so now you'll see it shows up it kind of fades in shows up and then you'll go to that and you see your titles on top and let's say I wanted to add different steps or different uh, let's say I wanted to add instead of having step one on the movie I wanted this step to come between there in a black bar or something like this well what I can do with that is if I click on this and you can actions I can hit duplicate and what that did was made two of these it says the same thing but if I take and hold that down and I move it here then I can change this when I get over here to this I change it to oh, didn't mean that well I guess you can put those in there too it 
So if you wanted something like this where you put the steps in front of them, then you could do it that way as well. So that's basically it with the movies showing you how to add text to the graphics, how to move, how to split them in half, how to duplicate uh, clips, how to add clips in there. Um, and that's pretty much it. You know, if you look at this, other than if you might want to do one more thing, and that's going to be, say you wanted to add a uh, music file of some sort. Um, let's see if I can find something I have here. I don't know if I have any on here. I might have some. Yeah, I do. I have something in my iCloud drive. So this added this mu mu uh, music, uh, which is a royalty-free uh, music file that I downloaded. You have to be careful that you're not just using any any music file, especially if you're posting it anywhere public. Uh, you could get in, you know get in some copyright issues with it. But this one here, you can see. Now, if I think that mu music's too loud, just like I did before, I go here to volume, turn that down a little bit, and now you'll see it's it's down a little bit. And there's how you make a movie. Next, I'm going to show you what you do when you're finished. iMovie does make it pretty easy. So if I've got the movie done right here, I uh, like what I see, I've got everything in place, and I just want to hit done. I can, it's going to let you change the title here. Um, something like that. And it's going to give you basically three options. You can view it right here, which you can hit play and play it. Or you can hit this, it's going to bring up full screen uh, so you can see how it looks. Uh, just click on it, take you back. Um, but here's where you're going to hit the upload. And it's going to give you the option of where do you want to put this video. You can post it straight to a YouTube account that you have. Uh, you could send it to a, a mail program. Um, you can copy it to your OneDrive and then have other people share it from there. Um, so there's different options you can do here as well. Um, there's even out, uh, I think Outlook's on here as well. Uh, so there's different options and depending on what you have, if you have Google Drive added in here, I'm sure that's an option as well. So different cloud drives, uh, medias to put it on. Um, it'll let you uh, just basically save it. Or if you want to save the files or save video right here. So those are different things that you can do with this video or post it, share it somewhere. So that's pretty much it as far as how to, how to make the movie. I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, be free to reach out to me at any time. And I'll, I'll see what I can do to help you out on this. Thank you.